Hello, this is Dear Damson, and today I am going to do a giraffe and it's super easy. I will have the traceable for you available um, probably a few days after the video gets posted on my Facebook page and links will be in the description below. But I'm using a transfer paper, just a transparent paper. You can use cookie sheets and just a soft pencil and transfer it to the paper, flip it over, um, use your pencil one more time on the opposite side, then place it on the paper, uh, position it, um, make sure it's not moving around, and then transfer it to the paper. And after that, you are ready to start painting. And I will start with the lightest um, shadow. So I'm doing a version of the shadow that it's a color mixed uh, with black and blue darker blue and black and it's absolutely transparent almost invisible but it is there um, before we begin please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notification for my future videos and if you're watching this on rumble don't forget to rumble thank you and i will start with um ochre and brown so we have um, the ochre is going to be kind of our main color and i'm just darkening it slightly with a brown color you can choose any brown color whatever color makes you happy um, so i will start again with a lighter version of where i will be so little by little i am going to increase the volume of that color so i'm starting with a lighter version for the area and i will add layers to that um, the brush strokes on the back of the neck the little mane that it's going straight up and it's pretty straight on the top so it's not like a horsey um, i am moving my brush from the bottom to the top and I am placing them one after another so I'm creating right away uh, brush strokes that represent the hair um, so it creates lines so it makes it much easier to see um, tiny little lines that will represent the hair so I'm kind of um, helping myself with the brush stroke and um, I will add a little bit of a darker color but you're gonna see how a lot of times I add darker color and gently with a clean brush I'll take part of it away so every time you see that just observe um, when the paper is wet or I have another color underneath um, that color the second color is gonna start shifting and moving around if I am just placing a color on dry paper we're not gonna have a lot of movement um, of the paint just like here so I am just doing wet on dry technique so i'm coming in on the dry paper with a wet brush with paint um, and i will do again a lighter version for the spots than where we'll be on the end and if you see the giraffe on the top i did three different giraffes a little bit different colors i used the same traceable and pretty much i used it as a color study um, and also kind of a painting study um, to see what I like, what I don't like, what can I change. So from all three giraffes, from the same traceable, they look absolutely different and I can pick parts that I like and not like. So I might paint this as a full version of giraffe with all the elements that I like and combine all. So. Um, don't be afraid to do a painting a few times it will help so for the spots what I'm doing is I'm creating a sites or areas that are a little bit different than others you don't have to worry too much if it's um, dark on the top or the side or the front or exactly the way I'm doing it because those spots can be a little bit darker um, on different sides and much lighter on other sides I'm using again combination mixture of color um, ochre and brown and that's gonna be the main color for my giraffe the other color is black so if you see that 
on my palette, the three of colors on the bottom is my uh, ochre, the brown, and the black. This is the colors that I'm using for the giraffe. There's really nothing else in there. I'm emphasizing and using um, just uh, the brown for any area that it's overlapping or staying on top of another area. So I'm adding also a little bit of a shadow with the brown too, like around the nostril, under the mount, around the, um, the head. And um, I'm leaving the area around the eyes a little bit lighter. So to go around those spots, I had to wait for a little bit for the spots to dry. And then with a super transparent version of the color that I use for the spots, I am going around them. So I'm giving a, a very tiny hue, doing the same for the ear. Very, very light color. But once you have your sketch, um, then everything is super elementary, super easy. And a lot of times when I'm running my brush like this over the paint, I'm barely touching and my um, layer of color that I have placed before that needs to be completely dry because I'm kind of stilling a little bit and I am softening the edges, but very, very gentle. So I'm not working a lot on the areas where I have paint. So it's barely softening, but it's making it more to seem like velvety feel um, because our giraffe, it's soft. So we want to have a little bit of softness in our colors. For the ear, I did that uh, a few times. Um, and I found out the easiest thing to do is on an angle with a black, you just want to do a few lines and fill in the space, kind of, again, putting lines after a line to fill in the space. So you're creating um, a effect, I guess, um, that looks like there's hair in it, even though it looks like a one color. And the end of the color on, let's say, what is that, nine o'clock? It's much lighter because my paintbrush is running out of color on that area. And with that color, also I'm gonna go around because I'm running a little bit out of color, so it's very little paint on my brush. I'm gonna go and add another layer of shadow on the places that it needs. And that was under the mouth or the top lip, around the eyes and under the cheek. The eye is a very important place where you're painting animals you can uh, mess up the whole body, you can mess up the proportion, but if you do a good eye, um, you can kind of escape with a lot. So um, the eye, the shadowing and everything, it's something that you wanna probably do ahead of times, few times on a paper, just practice your eye. And the eye shape, shape of the giraffe, it's almost like a human, except that it's going to this one, it's looking forward or it's looking towards um, three o'clock so um, we are emphasizing on that we want to make sure that it's not looking towards us but it's looking forward toward the front of the giraffe and I'm adding a little bit of shadow under but I will leave a very slight lighter area right under the eye and that is going to give us more three-dimensional look. I'm using that super transparent gray also to add it where I see the giraffe needs a little bit of shadow. I'm gonna go back on the main and add a few brush strokes either from top to bottom or bottom to top and just make it look more like um, hair. <laughs> and from this point, I'm gonna go around and touch up 
little places it sometimes it just needs a tiny dot it doesn't need a lot of work to push a color forward or backwards emphasizing a little bit more again on all those spots because that's what the giraffe is all about And that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding maybe a spot to separate the area or to emphasize on an area. It doesn't have to be even a whole line. So for the eye, I'm adding a little bit of darkness or shadow right on the front. Um, on the top of the lid on the back side. But I'm leaving a white area right on the center of the lid on the top. So that makes it look more like a um, circle. So we're leaving a highlight on the top of the lid, but we're putting a little bit of a shadow on both sides, front and back. And you can see that a little bit of a lighter area right underneath the eye. And also um, the eye is never one color. So I'm leaving a little bit of a heavier um, and I'm mixing, I think, black with blue but you can do it just with black it's totally fine um, just make sure that you're leaving a little bit of a lighter black on the area of the eye that you think that it's exposed more to light and then deeper color it could be even brown eyes it doesn't matter the color will not matter and leave a darker color on the side that there is no light And you can see the difference between the top giraffe spots and the bottom. Um, it's just the color and the shape. So for the background, I'm doing a super light, super fun, super easy. I'm using a six um, brush, round brush, and I'm just grabbing greens or yellows and pretty much using a pressure on the brush to create the leaves for me and I'm moving them from side to side. So there is no science to this, it's just pushing the brush down and around and creating the spots. I'm leaving a little bit of a darker color, which is in this case green, closer to the edges and then I'm getting a little lighter where it's going towards the center where the opening will be because that will be the area where it's exposed to light. So it's not about the color, it's about the shadow and the light. We'll add a few little leaves that are escaped, kind of a little high up, so I'm not even adding branches. It's all about the illusion. We're going to add super transparent sky, we'll fill in the space and pretty much we're going to be done and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notifications for my future videos and I hope to hear from you. Let me know um, what you do with your giraffe or how it worked. You can always um, share with me either on Facebook or on my website. Links are in the description below. But happy painting and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.